Hi, my name's Aphrodite and I'm a psychologist at the Melbourne Centre for Women's Mental Health. Today I wanted to talk to you about Dialectical Behavioural Therapy or DBT, which is something that we offer here at the clinic. So what is DBT? DBT is an effective way of helping people who often react in a really intense way to emotional situations. This is usually in the context of relationships with family, friends or romantic partners. So one main aim of DBT is to over time alter or reduce behaviours, thoughts and feelings that um, are commonly linked to distress, misery or unwanted outcomes. So within the DBT framework, there are four categories of skills building. The first one is mindfulness skills, and then there's distress tolerance skills, emotion regulation skills, and interpersonal effectiveness skills. So the first one, mindfulness skills, is really important as it underpins all the other skills that you learn in the DBT framework. What is mindfulness? Well, mindfulness essentially um, allows you to be present within the current moment and to not be distracted by thoughts, feelings, and any external factors. So essentially it allows you to focus your thoughts and um, get on with the task at hand. So within the mindfulness category is this concept of the wise mind. Now the wise mind is the coming together of the emotional mind, which is um, you know, emotions, uh, feelings, urge based and the reasonable mind, which is more logic um, and fact based. So it's the middle ground between these two extremes. And what it means is that you can take the best of both worlds and make the best decision for you at that point in time. A lot of mindfulness exercises are uh, sort of aim to get you back into that wise mind so that you can step forward in the way that you, you think is most valuable at that point in time. Distress tolerance skills and emotional regulation skills um, are the next two, and they have quite a bit of overlap. But the main difference is that distress tolerance skills refers to, um, the, the, that skills category refers more to situations where, you know, the distressing event is out of your control. So for example, it might be um, the death of a loved one or a world event or, you know, a fight with a friend is causing you quite a bit of distress. So these are situations where you can't fully control that or you might not be able to control anything to do with that. Um, so these skills help you with the distress you feel in those situations where you can't control what's going on. Emotion regulation skills, on the other hand, refer to more uh, the situations where your actual emotional reactions um, are the barrier for you to be living the way that you want to live at that point in time. So an example might be that you experience something in your life and your emotional reaction um, is so vast and so disproportionate to that original event that it becomes a barrier and you are, you know, you might act out in ways um, because you can't regulate your emotions, you might end up, you know, picking a fight with someone or you might end up um, engaging in addictive behaviors or, you know, self-harm behaviors just because you aren't able to um, reconcile what's going on for you emotionally. So these skills are aimed at you being able to self-soothe and to really help you get through so that you don't do things that you maybe regret in the future. Um, interpersonal effectiveness skills is the last category and it's pretty self-explanatory. This category of skills helps you um, in any ways that you relate to other people. Um, so this might mean creating um, boundaries with other people or saying no effectively. It helps you to create and nurture your relationships with other people. And it also um, helps you get what you want from your relationships with other people. So these are the four categories of DBT, the, the skills-based categories. And here at the clinic, we offer a 13-week DBT skills training course, um, which involves you working with a practitioner, a psychologist like myself, and you go through these steps step by step. Um, alternatively, you might decide with your practitioner that you would prefer to only focus on one section of these DBT um, skills, and that's okay as well, um, but you probably uh, discuss that with your psychologist and figure out what the best course of action is for yourself. So um, feel free to contact the clinic at any point to find out more information about DBT or to book an appointment to work with someone in the context of DBT. All right, thank you for your time. Bye.